Right now we're at the third drop on the pipeline route to Richmond. The reason Richmond is found is right behind the camera is because the ships couldn't come up the river any farther. Chris Newport, as soon as he made it to Jamestown, decided he needed to keep exploring. So he came 100 miles up the river and ran into the rocks so you can see behind me. The fall line today is a great spot for kayaking. White water rafting, and coming and sitting in the water and having a good afternoon. James River covers a lot of distance, starts way out by the Blue Ridge Mountains, crosses the entire Piedmont until it reaches the fall line here in downtown Richmond. Riding off one door down the river just a little bit in the coastal plain. Send it to them. Our hey boys and girls, welcome to the coastal plain. That's right. We just came about, I don't know, a few hundred yards. And voila! We're in the coastal plain. The water's a lot calmer than over there at the fall line. So it's real nice. Hey Alfonso, sorry about cutting you off. But Brad's here with some fascinating SOL information. And then we'll get right back to you. I promise. Thanks for understanding, man. Take it away, Brad. All right, boys and girls, here in the coastal plain, uh, we're standing or we're standing right next to one of the four uh, important rivers in Virginia. This is the James River. The other three important rivers that are in the coastal plain uh, in order are Potomac, then Rappahannock, then the York River, then the James. Just remember when you're studying your four major rivers, please read your journal. Potomac, Rappahannock, York, and James. Here's the James. Get to know it. That's some great information. Now here it is. Nice water. We just traveled a couple hundred yards where we were at the uh, fall line and now we're here at the coastal plains and we still have coastal change as far as the tide goes it can change anywhere from two to four feet even though we're all the way a hundred miles inland we're still having a coastal change tidal change high tide and low tide high tide low tide boys and girls this is awesome this is also where Christopher Newport first landed he couldn't go any further because of the rapids that you saw earlier so this is kind of where he had to stop. And he marked his area by putting a cross. It's right behind me in those tree area over there. You're gonna see a cross that Christopher Newport actually staked in there. So this has been awesome. The water's great. Remember the order of your rivers that Brad told you, Virginia, we're awesome.